What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. I already got myself an opponent here. Today I decided I felt like messing around with some more Jinx and Rapidash in the whole gang. So we're going to be using this team here. Uh, it is pretty fun, so we're going to see if we can get ourselves um, an interesting battle here. So that is going to be our team there. And looking at our opponent, they actually did not bring like six Mewtwo. So that is some pretty good news. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write these down here. We got Ninetales, Agera, probably going to be Mega, so that kind of is annoying. Although it might, might be Mega Pinsir or Alakazam, though. You never know. Um, so Pinsir, not something you see too much. He also has a Golem. Cool. Um, the Alakazam is going to cause some problems. We need to save Alolan Muck for that. And then he also has an Arbok. So I appreciate the, uh, the interesting team this guy's working with. So... Um, he'll probably want to lead Golem or whatever he wants to Mega with, so I'm thinking maybe we... I think we should... Let's leave Polyrath, because if we go Polyrath, if he goes Mega Gera, we can scare that thing out. If he goes Golem, we can also scare that out. Um, unfortunately, though, if it is going to be lead Alakazam, which I don't expect it to be Alakazam. Um, Polyrath does very well against this team, though, so... Um, I think I might end up going... Polyrath here. We have Rock Slide for Pinsir as well. So we have some great coverage with Polyrath. Uh, let's go ahead and lead with that and see what happens. We're gonna kind of just messing around here. Gonna see what we can make happen. Um, so this is interesting. I do actually enjoy these Wi-Fi battles. I know a lot of people are thinking that it's kind of stupid. There's no abilities or items, but honestly, the simplistic style kind of makes it uh, a little bit different. It's kind of its own meta game, and it's at least fun. Something different for a little bit. I don't know, Getting uh, doing the same old Wi-Fi battles for the longest time does get a little stale. So, it's fun to mess around in this, and uh, let's do it. Got the Eevee on the head, ready to break your glasses, bruh. Alright, so he does lead with Golem, and that leads uh, that sets us up in a pretty good spot here. Um, we can go just right for, you know, right for either a bulk up, or we could just, I think probably our best bet would be to click Waterfall here. He'll probably switch, um, his best switch into this is going to be... Um, the Gyarados, if that thing comes in, it might actually not be Mega. Um, but then again, it doesn't have a whole lot to hit us with. So I think we're just going to go ahead and click Waterfall off the, st off the start here. Uh, there's a chance he might stay in and go for the Stealth Rock, but probably not seeing as uh, we went Polyrath. So he was probably expecting me to go uh, for my Golem from the lead there. So we're in a pretty good spot uh, from the start here. He's got a lot of stuff that I haven't seen, actually, and he actually isn't going to end up staying in. So we get off the waterfall, and that is just going to knock out the uh, the golem right from the start. Um, so that's good because now, I mean, actually, we did handle golem pretty well. Uh, we did have Starmie as well, and, and Jinx handles that things nicely. So uh, that thing is out of the way. The good news for him, though, is now he has a free revenge switch. So he's going to go into the Alakazam. We're probably going to see this thing being Mega. So that means he just has the regular Gyarados. So um, for Alakazam, we do pretty much just have or a lowland muck for this thing. We're just going to switch right into it here as he'll probably just play it safe and go for the psychic. Uh, expect at least. So we'll see what he decides to go for. Uh, Mech Alakazam doesn't really have much for a lowland muck. Oh, he's actually going to thunder wave. Okay. So that's going to cripple us just a little bit there. Uh, that is unfortunate. And now he is going to make a switch. So his switch into this ordinarily would be the golem, but we got rid of that thing already. So he is working with some, so let's see, what would he bring in here? To take a crunch, potentially, maybe even just the Gyarados. We didn't see Mega, so that shows us that he's either rocking Mega Pinsir or Mega Gyarados. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth switching here and trying to predict a, predict a switch. I think I just might go ahead and click Poison Jab and try to get some decent damage on whatever he wants to bring in. I think he'll probably go into uh, that Gyarados, probably has the hardest hitting Earthquake against us. Maybe even pincer but that's not the safest switch in it'd be nice to get up stealth rock because uh getting the rocks up before the gyarados comes in and has the chance to mega evolve while it's still flying type it will take a lot of damage uh, it does a lot to his nine tails along with his pincer so i do want to get stealth rock up here eventually as he is going to save that alakazam and he's actually going to yeah, end up bringing in the pincer here so this thing has earthquake force we do break through the paralysis though which is super nice and we get off a hard hitting poison jab does about half and um do not get the poison there, but that's okay. And so now, we've got to worry about getting earthquake here. So, um, I do need to save Play-Doh because of the fact that that Alakazam is scary as hell. And our best bet would be to go into Donut. I don't know how much a non-stab earthquake would do to us, but honestly, not a whole lot wants to switch into this damn pincer here. It kind of just depends on this thing set. 
I guess we'll switch into Golem. We're going to take a lot from our Earthquake, but there's really not much that else we can do. Um, Golem isn't all that useful for us in this matchup here. If I could just try to get up Stealth Rock, that would be fantastic, as he's actually just going to Brick Brick. So, uh, that does just a less than half. Oh, wait, no. What the fuck? It did way over half with a crit. For some reason, my game like looked like it lagged, and I thought that did less than half. What the hell? Okay, so that was a critical hit Brick Brick, and... That's kind of scary. We're just going to go ahead and click Stealth Rock here as we don't have a whole lot else to do. He's going to go for the Brick Break again. Uh, not able to get the crit this time. And, wait, nope. What the fuck? He definitely... Why? I'm looking at my OBS and it's like lagging. What the hell? Well, I thought we were going to be able to live that. Donut goes down. I got to start playing on my monitor rather than freaking <laughs> on my recording software. Because it stopped at like 12 HP and I thought I could live. Wow. Okay. Well, Donut goes down. That is unfortunate. Um, the good news about this is that we can bring in whatever we want, and I think I should probably go in Rapidash. Rapidash is probably my best bet, although he does have the switch in, which is Gyarados. We were not able to get up the Stealth Rock, and that is quite unfortunate. So, man, I thought for some reason I'd be able to take another Brick Break, but seeing that crit damage, I guess it makes sense. So, hmm. Yeah, let's go Rapidash here. Um, getting, damn it, that Stealth Rock would have been super nice. That crit really fucked me in the beginning there, man. Alright, so we got a Napalm here. Uh, his switch into this is obviously going to be Gyarados. We can just go right for a Will-O-Wisp, though, which would actually be super nice. If this thing stays in uh, while it's Will-O-Wisp, we can take an attack. I think that's probably our best bet. We don't have to worry about him going for Stealth Rock. We do connect on the Will-O-Wisp, which is nice. And uh, this should make it so that we can live in attack here. So a Burnt Pincer is not very scary. He's actually going to thrash. Okay. So, not something I was really expecting there. And that actually locks him in. So, that's thr thrash is like a normal type outrage. And that is actually kind of interesting. So, with this thing being burnt, uh, I would really like to start setting up with Polyrath, although he just has that Alakazam around. So, uh, not much we can really do there. I'm just going to go ahead and click Flare Blitz. I went for that will -O -Wisp just in case he decided to bring in the Gyarados, but it looks like he just wants to sack off this pincer. So, down goes that thing, and uh, right there is a, day, a dead pincer. So we got two down. We've knocked out the pincer and the golem. Uh, now he is able to bring in a free switch. I'm expecting probably Gera. Uh, he might just go Alakazam as well, but he knows I have an easy switch into that. So we'll probably see Gyarados here. Uh, if that is the case, I can actually I can burn it right from the start, which could be nice. Uh, but then I would pretty much lose Rapidash. But looking at it, we don't really need Rapidash for much. Um, I'm not really afraid of his Arbok. Okay, he's actually going to go Alakazam. Well then, if that's the case, we're just going to go ahead and switch right back into Play-Doh. Unfortunately, we are paralyzed. We'll see if he predicts this switch and goes for a double, but I doubt it. We're just going to go for the safest play here, which is bringing in our special defensive sponge. And pretty much this thing is on the team to handle uh, hard-hitting psychic types like Alakazam. And Mewtwo's if we come across them. But alright, so he does just Psychic, which is super nice. And now we have the ability to go for whatever we want. Uh, last time he brought in Pinsir, that thing is gone, so I'm expecting probably Gyarados this time. Um, last time I Poison Jabbed, maybe we'll just click Crunch this time just to kind of play it safe. We're just switching things up here. Uh, he does actually end up switching that thing out. He knows Alakazam is too useful for him. So he brings in the Arbok, and we do get paralyzed. Damn it, it would have been super nice to get that Crunch off against, the, against this thing, so... Uh, that sucks, but at least we do have we do have Frostitude for this thing, which is nice. And he'll probably what am I thinking he's gonna do here? Frogger could probably take a couple attacks, but then we wouldn't be able to knock it quite out. Um, we could go Starmie and just hit it with a Psychic, although unfortunately I don't think it would be able to knock it out. Um, so we've got an interesting play here. I don't want to stay in. This thing could be. T I don't. I don't think Coil is actually even a thing in this game. So maybe this, this thing probably can't even set up against us. Although I do want to save Play-Doh. So we're going to switch here. We're just going to go ahead. I can't switch in Frostitute. We're too damn frail. Um, let's bring in Starmie here. Try to get a hard-hitting Psychic. Uh, just to kind of scout out what this thing wants to go for. I've not seen an Arbok yet. I have no idea what the hell this thing is going to go for. But uh, we will figure this out. Alright, so our buddy Rick comes in. And it's going to Headbutt. A Headbutt. Ar okay. Headbutt Ar Arbok. Not uh, something I expected at all. I uh, was expecting probably, like, I mean, I guess that's maybe its best option against 
Arbok, although it should have Earthquake, right? Arbok and Earthquake, I thought. Well, so we live that, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and click Psychic here, see what this thing wants to do as he just stays in. Uh, so the Psychic should actually just knocks it right out. These things have, like, no special defense, so I thought maybe that thing would be able to live a Psychic, but that thing is going to just go right down. So that right there is the dead Arbok, and uh, things are looking pretty good here, so I can cross that off the old list. Arbok was not something that we were really too worried about, but... So now he brings in the Gyarados, and the thing will probably be Mega, seeing as we haven't seen anything else Mega. Uh, I can just go for a Thunderbolt, although, you know, let's go ahead and switch into Frogger here. Um, we can get off a low kick after it turns Dark type, as it should be a Mega Gyarados. Watch, it probably won't be. This guy is just making some weird-ass plays, as he, yep, he doesn't Mega Evolve, and he just Thunder Waves. Why wouldn't you crunch there? What the hell? Well, Frogger gets paralyzed, <laughs> and that really sucks. As uh, now this thing's probably going to switch. We're going to expect the Alakazam to come in. But honestly, at this point, making predictions is like really weird. I'm, I'm just going to click Rock Slide. If this thing doesn't Mega Evolve, Rock Slide will hit it hard. Uh, it also just doesn't have much to hit us with. Although, seeing this guy's playstyle, he'll probably go for something completely random that we don't expect. Watch, he's going to stay in. Well, okay, no. So he switches, bringing the Alakazam. Yep, he is going to go back into the Zam. All right, well, that is a good play there. We do break through the Paralysis, and we can get off a Rock Slide on it, which is nice. Now it's easily killable here, and uh, we do not want to take a Psychic. You know what? We're just going to switch right back into our Play-Doh, as he should expect this at this point. There's no reason for him to go straight for the Psychic. He's got he's to make some type of play being down this much. Got to start going risky. As, uh, so he does actually Shadow Ball. There's really... Not much old Mustachio can do here to an Alolan Muck, so that's perfect. And now he is forced to make a switch. We're just going to go ahead and click Poison Jab. Uh, there's nothing on his team. He can't bring in Arbok, and it looks like, okay, he's actually going to, you know, he stays in. He's just going to recover. Well, I should have went for, uh, should have went for a Crunch, but, you know, whatever, as uh, we are actually even paralyzed anyway. So, uh, he gets that Recover off, which does actually kind of suck. That's annoying. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to click Poison Jab again, though, because now he'll probably switch, seeing as it's at full HP. He knows there's nothing he can hit me with. There's no da You can't get any damage with Zam. So, he gets off a free recover there because of the damn para, which does suck. Uh, now he's going to go back into the Gyarados. And luckily, we break through, get a little bit of damage here. Potential poison, please. Hello? Give me a poison. Yes! We do get the poison, and you know the drill. We need uh, Alolan Muck here for the Zam. So, we are going to switch this thing out. And uh, we do have a great switch into Gyarados, which is the Polyrath. So honestly, if you carry Polyrath and an Alolan Muck on your team, you do really well because you have great, like, probably the best checks to both Mega Gyarados and a Mega Alakazam. Um, so he's just going to go right for the Waterfall here. Not going to be able to do too much to us, especially being not Mega. So we can just go ahead and... You know what? I might even just click Waterfall if he decides to go back into... That Zam will hit it hard with a Waterfall, um, even if this thing stays in. So he does stay in. He's just going to go ahead and click the Outrage there. So uh, that's fine. Frogger is thick as hell. We eat that up, although we do get fully Parrot. So hot damn it. We're out here just playing against the freaking Paras, and I'm just going to click Waterfall again because it'll do enough to knock this thing down, I believe, to where Poison will knock it out. So what a stay in here. He is locked into the Outrage, and uh, Outrage is an interesting choice for Gyarados because it really only does well against... Like Dragonite, and we get fully parried again. What the fuck is this, Frogger? No. I mean, we only really needed you for the Gyarados, so you kind of did your job staying in here and letting the poison do its thing. So uh, it is gonna get another outrage off. It will be uh, confused after this, I believe. So Frogger goes down. Thank you at least for your efforts, Mr. Wrath. You you, uh, you helped out. So uh, it does get nice and confused due to fatigue, and. uh the poison is going to knock it out. So, down goes the Gyarados. All that's left is the Ninetales and the Alakazam. So, thinking about that, we can just go... He'll pr I, honestly, I think he'll probably go Ninetales. Let's go into Napalm. We really don't need Rapidash that much. So, on the chance that he does just bring in the Ninetales here. Yeah, he does go Ninetales. I figured he probably would. Uh, so, now we have a hard-hitting drill run against this thing. It would be really nice to have Stealth Rock. Uh, but freaking Golem who I thought was living stuff, was in fact just dying. So we'll just click Drill Run here. Ninetales looking beautiful, but not as beautiful 
as the girl Napalm. Uh, so we do get over half damage with that. And Dark Pulse is its best option against Ninja, or yeah, against uh, Rapidash. So can't hit us with much. We are the superior fire type because we have a freaking ground move and quick attack. Quick attack Nine Tails. Okay, that could be that. That could have if that worked out. That would have been cool, but unfortunately, it does not for you. And down goes the Nine Tails. Now all that's left is the Alakazam. Luckily, we do still have our Alolan Muck. If we didn't, we'd be in a pretty bad spot because it does have Shadow Ball for Jinx. It's got Shadow Ball for Starmie. So having Alolan Muck around really kind of saved our life there. So we're just going to go ahead and click Flare Blitz here. It does not really matter what we go for. Sorry about that, Rapidash. But at least it did a job. You, you were able to knock out the uh, the rival fire type. So what's he going to do here? He's got to just click Psychic. Although he's probably expecting me to go into Muck. So... I mean, there's really nothing it could do to it. You know, I would have to get like a, a ton of para hacks in a row. So it's looking like the oh, we're actually we're faster than his Alakazam. Okay, Rapidash, fast as hell. Majestic Beast is able to knock out the Alakazam. That was that not? Do I outspeed with it when it's not a plus speed nature, or what the hell nature is that thing rocking? Well, we kill ourselves in the process, but that uh, is going to be the end of that battle. So. That was quite interesting. We're going to pick that one up 3-0. Uh, that dude definitely had some questionable questionable movesets. But, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and find a new battle here. We'll see if we can find another opponent that uh, might give us a decent battle here. So I will go ahead and cut to when we get a new player. All right, so another player has been found. And we're just going to keep on working with this same team because uh, it's actually been working out pretty good for us so far. And it's fun to use. So we're going to grab this squad. And let's see what this dude is working with. So, he does have a Mewtwo and an Alolan Raichu, which is interesting. So, um, let's get it. We're going to go ahead and write this down. We're playing against a Mewtwo. That's fine. He's got a, uh, a Marowak, which is not something you see too often. So, obviously, we do need Alolan Muck for that Mewtwo. Potentially, it could be uh, Mega, Ch or Mega Mewtwo X, which is going to be probably carrying Earthquake, which... In which case, if it is, we're kind of screwed. I mean, it can just carry Earthquake regardless, but we're going to go ahead and hope not. Hopefully, it's, he's got like a Mega Mewtwo or, or a Mega, Mega Charizard or Pinsir. Uh, then he's just got that Raichu Alola. All right. The notes have been taken, and let's see if we can we can make something happen. So he'll probably want to lead off with something for Stealth Rock. Um, I mean, his Pinsir is named Sweeper, so let's see. He'll probably go Marowak. You know what, let's just go Golem. It seems like a safe bet to probably uh, just lead off with the boy Donut. Get that wholesome breakfast going. And uh, get this dude his his fill of Donut holes for the day. So, would be really nice to get up the rocks. He does have that Charizard. Um, he also got Pinsir, which takes a lot of damage from that. Overall, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm worried about the Snorlax. As I stutter there a thousand times. Um, we are going to need to save probably Polyrath to take care of that thing. Marowak shouldn't be too big of a problem. We handle that nicely. All right. Angus and Freddy. Look at them glasses and the sweet hairdo his Eevee's got. All right. So he leads off with Thor. And that's just going to be his Marowak. So he's going to go for the Stealth Rock here, which is nice. That allows us to get ours up for free as well. And we are going to need all the chip damage we can get. We want to take care of Mewtwo and shit. So we're just going to go ahead and click Stealth Rock there. As maybe he might even just go for an Earthquake. Who knows? But I like the little the little bit of originality this guy's got. We are actually faster, uh, which is good to know. And, uh, old boner boy, what are you going to do for me here? Okay, so you're just going to Stealth Rock. That's fine. Um, our team doesn't necessarily like Stealth Rock, but we don't have anything that's too bad for it. So we should be good there. As I'm just going to go ahead and click Earthquake here. We are faster. Um, his switch in could potentially be... You know, he really doesn't have any switch ins to this. He could go Snorlax if that's the case, we just blow up in its face. But he can't really bring in Charizard, that thing can't hurt us too bad. Uh, honestly, he's in a pretty tough spot here, we're just going to click Earthquake. And see what this Mar Marowak wants to do. He's going to stay in. And uh, it's a pretty hard hitting Quake there, as it does do a bit over half as he just Earthquakes in return. We should be able to take that. And uh, yeah, it does about the exact same amount of damage. Luckily, we are faster. And that is going to be able to knock out the Marowak. We did take over half damage, but we got our rocks up. And that's really what Golem's around for. If we're able to, it'd be nice to explode on something. Just make this a little easier on ourselves. But if not, 
Um, at least we're able to take out. Oh, he's actually going to switch. So he might go Charizard here. Oh, he's going, he's going Munch. He's bringing in the Snorlax. Yes, he's bringing in the Fatso. Okay, so he wants to conserve that Marowak for whatever reason. Everything on my team is faster than it, and it should be able to take it out. So we're not worried about that. Earthquake is going to do a buttload of damage to that thing. My god. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna click quake quake again. What does Snorlax have for us? Take it earthquake us also. Potential what, like ice punch. What is your tubby gonna do? And he's gonna switch again. Okay, this man's switching all over the place. Now he's gonna go into El Fuego, which is the Charizard, and he's gonna take 50% damage from the Stealth Rock, which is nice. Obviously, earthquake does not affect, but we do have Rock Slide, and I don't think what what is uh. What is this Zard going to be working with here? We're just going to click Rock Slide and see what this thing wants to go for. Maybe Earth... I mean... Earthquake? Other than that, Charizard doesn't have much. So yeah, he's going to go for the Earthquake. And seeing as... Yep, we live that Marowax Earthquake. Donut is able to take that. And we can knock it out with a Rock Slide. So look at, look at Golem just coming through here. We're able to take care of the Charizard. Don't have to worry about that. We didn't see any Mega... Um, so he's probably going to be Mega Mewtwo, which is annoying. Although it could be Mega Pinsir also. Mega Pinsir is kind of useless without its ability, to be honest. Okay, he's going to go Mewtwo here. So we do have to sack off Golem because we don't have anything that really wants to switch into Mewtwo, obviously. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click Explosion here and hope for the best. Maybe it's Calm Minds? Who knows? Okay, no. <laughs> he's just going to Psychic that will knock out our Golem. We actually did not see it Mega Evolve either, so this could be good news. Uh, now we get a free switch into whatever we want. We wreaked havoc with freaking Donut, though. We got over half damage to both the Marowak and the Snorlax. Knocked out the Charizard. We're looking good. So let's go right into Alolan Muck here and see what he's really got for us. We have to click Crunch because it's too risky to kind of predict any switches or go for anything too crazy. So we're going to take some Stealth Rock there. And let's see what this Mewtwo wants to do to us. He'll probably end up switching if it doesn't have much for us. Um, he's switching to this. He really does not have much, to be honest. Could just go Marowak. But we'll see. So he is going to switch out. Mewtwo does not have much for Alolan Muck. So we do have to save that as he just goes Thor. I like the nickname. He's got his, his hammer is this time a bone. So that's interesting as a crunch is just going to knock it right out. So we were able to do enough damage with Golem. Thank you, Golem. And down goes the Marowak. So now he has to bring in... Probably the Snorlax, which would have Earthquake for us, and I think might, well, probably would not be able to live. But we do not need Muck to take any unnecessary damage. So we do want to conserve that for the Mewtwo. It is actually kind of interesting playing against people <laughs> who are bringing Mewtwo's. So uh, when you have an Alolan Muck, at least it gives you a chance. And so we can actually just, pro we, can, we can just knock this thing out. But I don't want any crazy funny business to happen. I mean, there's really, there's really nothing that could go wrong. To be honest, there's, there's nothing that could really go wrong here. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, looking at it, I really don't need Polyrath. Play-Doh is slow as hell, but it's definitely faster than uh, Snorlax, right? Well, you know what, let's just switch. Let's just go right into, well, we could use we could use Polyrath for the Pinsir. We do have Rock Slide for it. Hmm. You know what, fuck it, we're going, we're going into Polygraph. We are bringing in the Tad Swole, which I should have probably, I, I should have named it Tad Swole. Like a tadpole, but he's swole as shit, okay. My nicknames are ri ridiculous. Okay, so he's just going to go for an Earthquake. Polygraph can take that easily. Um, now we can just go ahead and scare this thing. He's probably just going to let it, let it die. I could, no, bulk up is not a thing because freaking Mewtwo's around. So we pretty much just go ahead and click anything. I'm just going to go for Waterfall in case of a switch, but he just stays in. And down goes the Snorlax. And now at this point, he does not have anything for Alolan Muck. Uh, he's got Mewtwo, Pinsir, and Alolan Raichu at this point. So we'll probably bring in uh, the Raichu, I'd imagine. Wants to... Okay, yeah, see, he's going to go into the Raichu here. So... Takes a little bit of rock damage. Um, unfortunately, yeah, Golem wouldn't have even, even been too useful against this thing. I don't have much in terms of switch-ins for an Alolan Raichu, so um, we are just going to go ahead and click Waterfall. And we're just going to die to a Thunderbolt, but that's fine. That is totally fine. What is Alolan Raichu's speed? We're going to go ahead and look this up on Serebii. 
I don't remember exactly how fast this thing is. I want to try to potentially lovely kiss it, so I could have 178 is this thing's max. That's, uh, Jinx is slow as hell. Oh, fuck, I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally clicked A, but we can take an attack. It doesn't really matter. I did not mean to switch into something. We can live a Thunderbolt, right? Fr Frostitute, can you live a Thunderbolt from Raichu? Hello? We're gonna lovely kiss. To be honest, I did. To be honest, I, I misclicked there and fucking hit A as he actually calm minds. Okay, so we really very much need to land this lovely kiss. Uh, we do have a little muck for this thing, but then again, I really don't want to have to take any unnecessary damage. Okay, so we get the lovely kiss off, which is nice. And uh, now, you know what? We should probably calm mind ourselves. Although, you know, it's probably actually best to just get damage off on this thing. Let's see. Hmm. What could star me? It's just gonna outspeed. What, what is Napalm working with? Hmm. Yeah, without EVs, it actually. So it's 178 without EVs. I did not even think about that. I was looking at. <laughs> Looking at EV effort value with the, with the EVs included. This game, man, confusing the shit out of me. We're just gonna click Ice Beam a couple times. Um, with the calm mind up, it's gonna be able to. Okay, he's actually gonna switch. What? Okay, okay. I see you as he brings in the Mewtwo. So luckily, we did not calm mind ourselves because uh, this thing is scary with its own Shadow Ball. So at least we're able to get some damage off on this Mewtwo. And that is amazing. Alright, so that does a lot. And so he'll probably just Shadow Ball here. Um, Looking at it, I don't really, don't really need Jinx at this point. I could just sack it off, uh, bringing in Play-Doh, taking Stealth Rock damage and whatever it wants to go for is a little scary. So, it doesn't seem like I really need Frostitute too much. We could probably do it with the rest. You know, we're just going to sack this thing off. We're not thinking about shit too much. We're out here, we're out here just clicking moves. Oh, he actually, he sidekicks? What? He goes for the Psychic instead, that's not going to do anything, so... <laughs> so, uh, okay, I don't know why he wouldn't Shadow Ball there, it's not like... Well, interesting, we're able to knock out the Mewtwo, and, uh... Down it goes, so I don't know why he would ever click Psychic there, but my Jinx just knocked out a Mewtwo, so that's... That's fun stuff, okay, so now he brings back in the Raichu, who does no longer have its Calm Mind, and, uh... Interesting plays. Some very interesting plays being made here. Well, so <laughs> the Raichu is going to have to stay in, stay asleep, take some some ice beams. One more is going to be able to knock it out. Hopefully it doesn't wake up. And uh, down you go. So what, he still has the pincer left, correct? All right. Jinx is just out here having a field day. Why would that Mewtwo not carry Shadow Ball? I'm very, I'm very confused. But honestly, I'm not mad. So that's, you know, that that's a thing. So he's bring, gonna bring in Sweeper here, and uh, gonna try to do some sweeping. I could just lovely kiss it, but I do not think I'm going to. I don't really want to lose to this thing though. Uh, it's actually just gonna Mega Evolve. We could probably, oh no, oh no, this could be bad actually. Are we about to get hacked up? by this pincer. So yeah, it is going to be Mega Pincer, obviously, with that sweeper name. This thing is scary as hell. So, uh, we are actually, nope, we're faster now that it's flying type, ice beam. That to knock you right out. So you probably should not have actually Mega Evolved there. Could you have lived an ice beam had he not Mega Evolved? The world may never know. Also, what the hell are the things on Jinx's side? Those little pointy things are weird as shit. Well, we are able to pick up the dub there. Uh, that was a questionable battle. He did not play that Mewtwo very well. I don't know why he would ever click Psychic. Maybe he just didn't have any... I mean, he had to have had... Anything would have been a better option. But, hey, Jinx got a pick up, picked up a, uh, a knockout against a Mewtwo, so... We ain't complaining. Anyway, guys, that is going to conclude today's session of Wi-Fi Battles. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'll have some more Wi-Fi Battles coming at you guys soon. Also have my League match... Uh, coming up tomorrow, which is uh, this upcoming Saturday. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys.